Samsung's Galaxy S6 packs an 8-core processor, wireless charging, and one of the best cameras on a smartphone, period. But Apple just dropped the iPhone 6S, which has a faster A9 processor, beefed up cameras, and a 3D touch display. But how do they stack up? So what's up guys, Jonathan here, and these are no doubt two of the best smartphones available. And first up, we're gonna jump into design. The Galaxy S6 looks radically different than its predecessors. Gone is that removable plastic back, which has been swapped with an all glass design and feels really premium. Because of that back though, it is a little slippery, but overall it's really solid in terms of one-handed use. Now, because the iPhone 6S is an S model, it looks nearly identical to the iPhone 6, aside from a new rose gold color and an S on the back that denotes it is in fact an S model. It also features a stronger 7000 series aluminum which ups the rigidity and the durability. Surprisingly though, whereas most Apple releases are thinner and lighter, the iPhone 6S is actually a little thicker and a little heavier this time around and is 5 grams heavier than the Galaxy S6. Overall, I'd say the iPhone 6S feels better in the hand, but as far as looks go, I'd have to give it to the Galaxy S6, especially if you opted for the Edge variant, which to me might be the best looking smartphone of 2015. Jumping over to storage, the Galaxy S6 takes the edge here as well. Apple's base iPhone 6s is 16 gigabytes, which in 2015 should be a tech crime. Neither have expandable storage, and granted, once you step up to the 64 and 128 gigabyte models of each phone, they pretty much level out. But as far as the base model goes, the S6 is a much better value. Moving on to displays, the Galaxy S6 is Captain Crispy. It sizes in at 5.1 inches with a resolution of 2560 by 1440, whereas the iPhone 6s is slightly smaller at 4.7 inches and a resolution of 1334 by 750. Now, don't get me wrong, the iPhone 6S display looks great, but head to head against the Galaxy S6, it cannot hang. It's bigger, it's sharper, and in terms of media consumption, it's killer. Web browsing, pictures, gaming, and watching video on the Galaxy S6 is hands down just a more enjoyable experience. Now, when it comes to performance, on paper, the Galaxy S6 smashes the iPhone 6S with an 8-core processor and 3 gigs of RAM, compared to Apple's dual-core A9 chip with 2 gigs of RAM on the iPhone 6S. In Geekbench, though, the iPhone easily pulls ahead in the single-threaded department with a score of 2529 compared to 1451 on the Galaxy S6. Jumping over to the multi-core side of things, the Galaxy S6 jumps ahead here with a score of 5144 compared to 4403 on the iPhone 6S. Moving on to graphics in GFX Bench, the iPhone 6S dished out 51 frames per second compared to 15 on the Galaxy S6, but even running the test off screen at 1080p, the iPhone 6S is still ahead with 40 frames per second versus 25 on the Galaxy S6. So you're definitely going to get a smoother game gaming experience on the iPhone 6S, whereas you're gonna get better multi-core performance on the Galaxy S6, but honestly, both phones are really fast, especially in real-world day-to-day tasks. Next up, we're gonna talk about fingerprint scanners, otherwise known as Touch ID on the iPhone, and simply just a fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S6. As far as the Galaxy S6 goes, compared to the Galaxy S5, the fingerprint scanner is night and day better. And when stacked up against the iPhone 6, those two are pretty much on par, but as far as the iPhone 6S goes, this one takes the cake. Touch ID is wicked fast, everything from the setup to day-to-day -day use. You can literally click the home button and that will unlock your phone. Not to say that the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S6 is bad by any means, but in this case, the iPhone 6S is clearly better. Following that, we're gonna move on to cameras, and it's no secret that the Galaxy S6 might have the best smartphone camera on the market. It's got a 16 megapixel rear shooter, a five megapixel front shooter, whereas the iPhone 6S is rocking a 12 megapixel on the back and five megapixels on the front. Obviously, megapixels aren't everything, but I think most people would prefer the Galaxy S6 camera. Pictures are sharper, they're more saturated, and are generally more pleasing to the eye without needing a tweak in post. The iPhone 6S, however, has a much better dynamic range and captures a more natural image, which is a better option if you're looking to tweak in post. Now, for you selfie maniacs out there, quality-wise, the iPhone 6S and Galaxy S6 are really similar, but because the Galaxy S6's front camera is so much wider, I'd prefer it over the 6S. Both also shoot 4K video, and much like the photos, the GS6 video is sharper, but the iPhone 6S has better dynamic range and holds on to highlights and shadows better. The slow motion on the iPhone 6S is also leaps and bounds better than the S6, like no contest better. So again, overall, I think the Galaxy S6 is a better camera option for most people, and although I do prefer the video on the iPhone 6S, I think as a total package, the Galaxy S6 outweighs the iPhone 6S. Now, touching a little bit on exclusive features that separate each phone from each other, the iPhone 6S obviously has 3D Touch, which essentially is technology built into the screen that'll allow you to hard press and grant you access to shortcuts. It is fairly limited right now, 
now, but I think as time develops and more apps take advantage of it, it's gonna be extremely useful. There's also live photos, but that's really just a glorified short video, and it might sound cool, but it's really just a gimmick at this point. The Galaxy S6, on the other hand, has quick charging and wireless charging, which is extremely useful. You have full-blown NFC, and yes, I know, Apple Pay is technically NFC, but that is all it is limited to. Then there are smaller things like the IR Blast or the heart rate monitor. You can even go as far as the Edge as a feature if you moved up to that variant. But aside from that, those are really the main things that stand out aside from the other. Now, before we wrap things up, I want to give a huge shout out to Clean Master for making this video possible. That slick swiping shortcut you saw earlier in the video is actually their iSwipe feature, which gives you quick access to your favorite apps, recent apps, and more. What I found really useful though was the integrated photo cleaner which will sift through duplicate photos, blurry shots, and screenshots so you can free up extra space. On top of that, there's also a built-in battery saver, the ability to hide apps, and to free up memory. It's free in the Play Store, it's Ralphie approved, so make sure you guys check out the link down in the description. Now, as far as my final thoughts on each phone go, like I said, these are two of the best smartphones you can possibly pick up right now. The Galaxy S6 has a tremendous display, a killer camera, wireless charging, and honestly, a better look. The iPhone 6S, on the other hand, regardless of its dual-core processor, is one of the fastest phones on the market and holds its ground against any of the other flagships out there. Touch ID is great, the camera upgrade is solid, and 3D Touch is useful, but I wouldn't call it a game changer yet. Both are decent, but not great in terms of battery life. The iPhone 6 comes in at just around 1700 milliamp hours, where the Galaxy S6 comes in at 2550. Surprisingly, both of which are smaller than its predecessors, which is definitely a bit of a bummer. So if you use your phone a ton, regardless of which phone you opt for, I think both will have a hard time lasting through the entire day. Bottom line though, if you want cutting edge technology with an awesome display and the best camera, go with the Galaxy S6. On the other hand, if you enjoy Apple's ecosystem, you're looking for a speed bump and Android really isn't your thing, you'll really enjoy the iPhone 6S. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Chuck Norris on that like button. Also, are you guys team iPhone 6S or team Galaxy S6. Let me know what you'd pick and why, and make sure you subscribe because I'll be giving one of each of these away very soon.